All right, so today's December 20th. We've got uh, flintlock season kicking off here in PA on December 26th. So I just finished my Kibler build. I built a Kibler Southern Mountain Rifle. I haven't shot it yet. All right, so I did uh, iron nitrate on this gun, then I heated it with a heat gun. It's time to put some sealer on it and see if it's going to be pretty or not and see if I did everything right. pretty snazzy. It's dark. So, uh, just finished it up last night. Got the ramrod done. So I rushed up here. I got about 45 minutes to shoot. I'm going to rip one here real close just to see if I'm anywhere in the ballpark and uh, see how she shoots. Shouldn't be very long either because 
what if we would have got an hour? Yeah. Yeah. So, see what happens here. Good lord, it comes along. coming out, he's here. Hopefully she don't hear me set my trigger. Huh? I'm gonna do it now. I want that loud. She should be popping out there. Good. Yeah. Busted her. Definitely hit her. She was scrambling. All right, we just got a good shot of the doe here. I'm pretty sure I hit her good. We watched it back. It was kind of smoky, but you could see she was hit when she was scrambling out of there. She come out perfect, just what we set up here for them to do. They come right out through there. She popped out perfect. So <clears throat> we're gonna wait a little while longer and see if any more deer come. But it's it's raining off and on, so we're gonna go out here and see if we can't see some blood here. Find her. I feel like I hit her pretty good. She was like yeah, she was hurt. She buckled. Yeah, I think I hit her front shoulder sort of. <clears throat> That's what I was shooting for, so one at the very far shot either. I know I made a good shot, whether or not I hit her exactly right, I don't know, but first rip with the Kibler. Build the field. Yeah. <laughs> I just finished it up the other day, shot it, sighted it in, and built it in my kitchen. So hunted with it about two hours. Yeah. It's a killer gun, that's for sure. We're gonna go see if we can track her down here. Let's say she come out on the lower end of this, huh? There's hair right here. and a bunch of blood. It's got a lock on it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
a lot of blood for impact. Yeah. Hopefully she bleeds good out there. There's blood there. Yeah, she's pumping. Yeah, there's all kind of blood there. I would figure she ain't gonna be super far. I wouldn't figure she's too far, huh? Not with all this. Dude, how's she, how's she still? That's pretty, pretty unreal. But yeah. She's going to be packing up right here. Still, oh, look at that. I'm kind of shocked she made it this far. Look at the blood going down through there. You see it down through there? Holy cow. I'm tracking blood from 20 yards away. There she is. Right here. Wow. Yeah, she's a big girl. All right, we was able to find her. She didn't go too far. What do you think? She'd be maybe 100 yards or so? Yeah, 80 to 100. Yeah, hit her good. I'd say right through the heart. She, she bled a lot. It was pretty easy to follow, so she just made it down over this hill here and uh, worked out good. It was uh, threatening rain all evening sprinkled a few times on us that's why i brought my case with me to put my gun in, in case i had to but uh we lucked out and we had a three deer come down below us and they ended up running up on our hill and we're not 100 percent sure we was assuming they would pop out that way and this one came by herself and she kind of caught me clicked my hammer back i tried to do the trick where i pulled the trigger a little bit but she eased up and walked out and gave us a perfect shot i mean we need all the help we can get with flintlock, so. But uh, worked out good, got a big old doe. First day of flintlock season, got a bunch more tags, and this is one of the best times of year, so. We're gonna try to make it happen a couple more times, but we gotta get her cleaned up and get her out of here. And Good today.